header you will get rhombo header and after that he started to devise a mathematical model in which he can say for example in 2d we can have triangles which can completely fill up the space squares can fill up the space but not pentagons right pentagons cannot fill up the whole space that is why he started to devise a, a mathematical model in which he can have some distinct shapes which can fill a 3d space okay so these are the 2d space which can be filled right not this one then he was thinking about the 3d shapes which can fill the 3d space and then he showed that there are seven distinct space filling volume elements okay so if you arrange them so what are those now the next slide that i am going to tell you you already know everything about the next slide if you remember the hexagonal closed packing in 3d okay please see now three dimensional crystal structure unit cell so unit cell it it is characterized by what it should have three edges a b and c these can be equal these can be unequal also now these edges may or may not be mutually perpendicular also they not may not may or may not be negative at all okay now the angle between the edges a the angle between the edges alpha it is between b and c you remember this right beta is between a and c and gamma it is between a and b right thus a unit cell is characterized by six parameters a b c and alpha beta and gamma so please remember this one line can also be asked as one mark question how what are the what are the six parameters by which a unit cell is characterized or how a unit cell is characterized okay, so these are the question that they can ask and you have to answer a unit cell is characterized by six parameters the edges a b c s a b c and the angle alpha beta and gamma is this clear till here yes or no please tell me yes sir yes okay fine now moving on to the seven distinct uh, space filling objects okay space filling objects so these are the seven different objects we have already seen the cubic structure and we have already seen the hexagonal structure now let us look at the remaining one rhombohedral you saw when you saw the calcite structure okay so in cubic and when i go to cubic and tetrahedral okay when i go to cubic and tetrahedral what we can see here is that what we can see here what in this tetragonal they have done in this tetragonal they increase the height here okay so they elongated the cube so if you take this if you take this upper part that is a ceiling and you elongate it okay so if you elongate it you will get what you will get a tetragonal structure can all of you see that yes or no elongate one side can all of you see that yes or no please tell me yes sir okay so yes. in cubic what will be there a will be equal to b it will be also equal to c now here alpha is equal to beta and is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree now if i go to tetragonal then what will happen a will be equal to b but these will not be equal to a and b will be equal and b will not be equal to c b will not be equal to c because we have elongated the c part right we have elongated through one edge but here the angles will still be alpha and beta and gamma they will be equal and this will also be equal to 90 degree because we have not changed any angles is that right yes or no please tell me bataiye any problem yes. till here no problem na no? ee bhai i am going to One. Yeah, please tell me if you are understanding or you are not understanding. ठीक है because they can ask you directly you what are uh, like tell about the unit cell parameters for tetragonal or orthorhombic or cubic or anything please tell me if you are not understanding what does it mean by elongating one side and how i am com coming to this conclusion that a will be equal to b but not equal to c but these angles will also be and will, these angles will be always equal yes mazia and salman and khalid please tell me are you understanding na yes sir yes sir mazia ठीक yes, है अब बताइए देखिए 
elongate other elongate ka matlab ye nahi ki like you have to elongate also you can shorten it also what does it mean in from cubic to tetragonal i am changing the edge one edge from tetragonal to orthorhombic i am changing the other edge right so elongate other also now in orthorhombic what is going to happen a will not be equal to b and this will also not be equal to c but here we have not changed the angle that is why alpha will be equal to beta it will be also equal to gamma which will be equal to 90 degree is that clear yes or no please tell me yes sir yes sir all of you okay fine now hexagonal you already remember right a is equal to b and it is not equal to c hexagonal close packing may we had not in 3d it is not equal to c here alpha is equal to beta right alpha is equal to beta which is equal to 90 degree and there is gamma which is equal to 120 degree you guys rem remember it hai na you have already yes, done sir. this correct okay now let us move to triclinic now triclinic what you will see try clinic nothing is fine sab clinic hai sab kuch kharab hai a is not equal to b it is not equal to c alpha is not equal to beta it is not equal to gamma it is not equal to 90 degree okay so you can remember you can remember try clinic yes or no please tell me yes sir okay fine now rhombohedral you guys remember rhombohedral rhombohedral rhombus right so what is rhombus rhombus is if you have all the sides same a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but these are not equal to 90 degree yes or no in rhombus what happens the angles are not equal to 90 degree right yes or no yes, yes sir okay fine so let me start once again and please remember this alpha is equal to beta and this is not equal to 90 degree so cubic to tetragonal what is difference one we have elongated one of the sides and we took the ceiling and then we elongated it so we have got c that is not equal to the other edges then in orthorhombic we elongated two other sides hexagonal you already know triclinic everything is bad nothing is equal nothing is equal to 90 degree now let us move to monoclinic now monoclinic is the only one that you have to remember okay so for all of this you can have some mental model in your head you don't have to remember the exact things so for tetragonal you will remember that it has come from cubic so in cubic from cubic to tetragonal you elongate one side and they, then you can logically conclude about these parameters but in monoclinic you have to remember okay in monoclinic you have to remember in monoclinic what happens you have all of these sides are not equal a is not equal to b it is also not equal to c right but here as you can see gamma and alpha these are 90 degree alpha it is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree and there is beta angle which is not equal to 90 degree beta angle which is not equal to 90 degree is that clear yes or no please tell me yes sir okay it is not equal to 90 degree okay fine so now what we will be doing i will be moving here now crystal system is there okay edge length is there and axial angles is there okay axial angle is there now for crystal system i will write please remember chrome T P H. Okay. Chrome TTH. Chrome TTH. Either what you can do, you can remember it from this logical method, or you can memorize this what I am telling. Chrome TTH. So what will what will be with C cubic, right? Yes or no? Cubic, correct? Yes. Sir. R for yes. R for rhombohedral. Rhombohedral. O for O for ortho ortho something. Okay, इतना चलेगा हाँ ortho rhombic इतना चलेगा कुछ तो याद हो ortho rhombic. M for monoclinic monoclinic. T for now you have triclinic or tetragonal triclinic or tetragonal. So tri and tetra which will come first? Tell me tri or tetra? क्या आएगा पहले? Right. Very good. Try cleaning. Tetragonal. And this is hexagonal. Is that clear till now? Yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what do you have to do? A, it is equal to B, it is equal to C. Okay. Can you guys wait one second? इसको हम ना एक काम करते हैं अगर हम इसको लिखते रहेंगे ना तो इट विल बी समथिंग बैड सो जस्ट वेट अ सेकंड हम उसको लिख देते हैं इसमें
a all all will be equal theek hai all will be equal now how you have to cover this how you have to cover this see so what you will do you will start with here and you will be making the letter 7 Okay, fine. So, what you are going to do? You are going to leave a few things. You are going to leave a few things. Uh, tetragonal, yeah. So, upper side, what you will do? You will leave two, and from down here, you will leave two. Fine. From down here, you will leave two, and then you will make a seven. Okay, not not till here. Sorry, this is bad. Can you see a seven like this? Tell me. Yes. Yes. Anna. तो बस ऐसे कर दीजिएगा आपका हो जाएगा ठीक है तो दिस इज इट एज यू कैन सी ऑर्थोरॉम्बिक में सही है है ना मोनोक्लिनिक आल्सो राइट ट्राइक्लिनिक आल्सो इंटरट्रागोनल वन इज नॉट इक्वल हेक्सागोनल आल्सो सी इज नॉट इक्वल नाउ फॉर एंगल्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंगल्स के लिए लेकिन आप क्या कर सकते हैं यू कैन रिमेंबर इट लाइक ना क्यूबिक में क्या होगा ए विल बी एल सॉरी अल्फा विल बी इक्वल टू बीटा इट विल बी इक्वल टू गामा व्हिच विल बी इक्वल टू 90 डिग्री नाउ इन रॉम्बो हैंडल रॉम्बो हैंडल यू नो दैट ट्रॉम्बस में क्या होता है अल्फा इज नॉट इक्वल टू बीटा सॉरी alpha beta sab equal honge but they will not be equal to 90 degree alpha is equal to beta this is also equal to gamma which is not equal to 90 degree rhombohedral mein or oh, sorry orthorhombic you know that alpha it is equal to beta it is equal to gamma it is equal to 90 degree because we have just uh, increased the two of the edges in cubic in monoclinic what happens tell me in monoclinic monoclinic mein kya hota you have alpha which is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree But here beta it is not equal to ninety degree, okay. Now this is on the important one that you have to remember. Monoclinic in triclinic what happens? Alpha it is not equal to beta. It is not equal to gamma. It is not equal to ninety degree. In tetragonal all of these are equal. Alpha is equal to beta. It is equal to gamma, which is equal to ninety degree. And in hexagonal what happens? You have alpha it is equal to beta, which is equal to ninety degree. But gamma it is not. Gamma is equal to one twenty degree. Is it not? So please, you will have, you will write this down, okay? All of you, please remember. When I will share this, you will write this down, okay? Tell me, is that clear? This is all clear, na? Yes. Yes. Okay, me. Shall. ठीक है. I will try to keep this in the slide. Yeah, should I keep this blank? फिर आप लोग fill कीजिएगा. क्या ख्याल है? This table. Should I keep this blank? Okay, sir. Huh? What about others? Mazia, Khalid. If you don't, if you yeah, can't okay. fill, then you have already have N C E R T. Okay, but still you try to fill it yourself. Okay. Now, type of unit cells. Type of unit cells. So we have seen. So we have seen some type of unit cell. Basically, these are of two types. These are of two types. One is the primitive unit cell. Okay. One is the primitive unit cell. Now, in primitive unit cell, what is the important point? The important point is that. Here, whatever particles or you have, whatever points you have, whatever atoms you have, they are only in the corners. Okay, so they will only be in the corners. Okay, only be in the corners. So as you have seen, we have got these many crystal system. So in cubic, you can have one of the system in cubic where you have a primitive unit cell in which you will have all the atoms in corner. That is simple cubic. In rhombohedral, you can also have all the atoms in the All the atoms inside what in in the corners. In orthorhombic also monoclinic, triclinic, tetragonal, hexagonal. All of them you can have one unit cell in which all the atoms are in corner and they will be known as the primitive units. They will be known as the primitive unit cell. Now after primitive unit cell we have the other kind of unit cell which is known as non-primitive or centered unit cell. Non-primitive or centered unit cell. Now in centered unit cell what will happen? You will have Some atoms in the corner as well as some other position. 
okay as well as some other position and those other position are generally center of the face or the center of edges or something else okay so you understand the difference easy na primitive non primitive primitive is only in corner non primitive is what corner as well as some other point clear yes or no yes sir okay now when i move to the non primitive one then centered unit cell or non primitive these are of face centered unit cell we already know that body centered unit cell you already know that there is one more which is known as end centered unit cell now end centered unit cell you have not heard this word but you have come across this type of unit cell when we were doing the formula can somebody please read what is the end centered unit cell read it loudly na in which the points are present at all the corners and at tell me what सीलिंग एंड फ्लोर राइट ये You remember this? Yes, sir. Anna, so nice. Face centered in all the faces you have already seen. Body centered there will be. Now in face centered you will have atoms in the corner as well as faces. In body centered you will have atoms in the corner as well as the body center. In end centered you will have at the corners as well as the center of two opposite faces. Now everything is clear till here. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Okay. Yes, fine. sir. Now moving on. Now if I have this seven, we just saw that we can have. seven crystal systems right we can have seven crystal systems and then we can have primitive unit cell and non primitive unit cell and after that we can have face centered body centered and end centered also now what does that mean it means that it means i have seven crystal system and i can make simple cubic with all of them right i can make a uh, face centered with all of them and i can make body centered with all of them and i can make end centered with all of them right so seven, seven into 4 that is equal to how much seven fours are 28 right yes or no yes sir that means there can be 28 lattices hai na theoretically speaking there can be 28 lattices right correct yes, yes sir hai na yeah. 28 there can be 28 lattices theoretically speak but we also know that if in 2d we had triangle parallelogram and hexagonal all they were like all they were similar right? yes or no hai na at the end they were similar type of structures correct Yes or no? Similarly, here also what happens in three D also some of these twenty eight are duplicates of each other. Okay, so you no uh, you don't need to know what are the duplicates and how they are becoming duplicates. Now, if time permits, uh, I can tell you why and how. But uh, this is a part of solid state physics. Okay, so in higher standards you will have solid state physics and solid state is particularly a uh, thing of physics only because you know that in Ions. What do we have? Plus charges and minus charges. And you know, this comes under the umbrella of electrostatic forces of attraction. And so mainly physicists they deal with solid state most of the time. Okay, so these twenty-eight in this twenty-eight there are some duplicates, and effectively there are only fourteen lattices which are unique. Okay, there are only fourteen lattices which are unique. Now moving on. So what are those? So August Bravais. Uh, this is not August. August. This is Bravais. Not for you. This Bravais. I think he was French or something. That is why his name is so weird. He proved that there are only fourteen distinct ways. Okay, fourteen distinct ways to arrange the point in space. Okay, now this you will refer to this part to look at those fourteen distinct ways. There is no need to remember these things, but this word is important. There are fourteen distinct ways, and they can be asked how many Bravais lattices are there, you know? So, or you can be asked what are the different, not not what are how many different Bravais, how many different. Ways are there to arrange point in space as given by Bravo. So these fourteen distinct ways are also known as Bravo lattices. Okay, so you can be asked how many Bravo lattices are present, how many Bravo lattices exist. So we will answer fourteen. Is that clear? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Ah, guys. Okay. Now, they get twenty-eight. होना चाहिए था, but है fourteen. वो क्यों है उसको रहने दीजिए आप, ठीक है ना? Why it is now? I can't prove in two uh, D space now about three D things very effectively. That is why I am leaving it. But so, I have come to show you that in two D there can be some duplicates. So in three D there must be some duplicates also, right? In three D there will also be some duplicates. Fine. Chali. I think this is all about. Acha. Now uh, we have done this now. 
याद है आपको ईच पॉइंट इन द लैटिस इज कॉल्ड लैटिस पॉइंट और लैटिस साइट ईच पॉइंट इन द क्रिस्टल लैटिस रिप्रेजेंट वन कांस्टेंट पार्टिकल व्हिच मे बी एन एटम मॉलिक्यूल और ग्रुप ऑफ एटम्स लैटिस पॉइंट्स आर जॉइंड बाय स्ट्रेट लाइंस टू ब्रिंग आउट द ज्योमेट्री ऑफ द लैटिस ओके सो यू रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव डन दिस इन प्रीवियस क्लास इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्लास दैट ईच पॉइंट दे रिप्रेजेंट कांस्टेंट पार्टिकल्स नाउ नाउ दीस आर सम एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू कैन हैव अबाउट द यूनिट सेल एंड हाउ डू वी मेक यूनिट सेल so normally a cell that is chosen it should have perpendicular side that is why one of the reason why we did not take parallelogram that it is not having perpendicular side so please remember see it is written chosen chosen means what we have different different choices so this is also a unit cell but the chosen one is this one here okay now uh, of shortest length and one construct entire crystal by translation displacement of the unit cell these are some different things that you can just have it in your notebook but you don't need to remember these things okay chali Uh, these are the unit cell that you have seen what is this unit cell tell me what is this unit cell what is the name of this unit cell ha ah, correct simple cubic and what about this one second one body centered body centered bcc okay and what about this one face center alternate face yeah. center hai bhai alternate ka yeah face center yeah yeah next is the face centered cubic okay also you can see that uh, 1 by 8 portion of the cube is uh, of the atom is present in one of the units can you see it now ha na jo cheez aap log imagine karte aa rahe the at the time hum log ha na now you can see that happening also can you see that half of the half of the sphere is present in the face center correct right yes or no yes also can you see that these two are touching each other right this one and this one they are touching each other hai na andar ja ke dekhiye yeah right so the so this atom will be touching this atom is touching four in the plane four of the walls and four wall of the above so from here also you can see that it is having coordination number that is 12 coordination number that is 12 is this clear all of you yes or no please tell me yes yes okay fine now we will be learning about the imperfections in solid okay imperfection in solid चलिए आप लोग सोइए नहीं दैट इज वाई आई मेड दिस कम्प्लीटली ब्लू सो यू नो दैट ब्लू रेज दे आर दीज आर लाइक मोर हार्मफुल फॉर आइस यू नो दैट ये सर नो यू मस्ट बी हियरिंग ना ज्यादा ब्लू रे आने से नींद नहीं आती है डू यू नो दिस सर है ना सो आई हैव मेड दिस ब्लू सो दैट यू आर ऑल अवेक ओके डोंट स्लीप जनरली पीपल स्लीप इन पीटीज डोंट स्लीप हियर ओके सो इंपरफेक्शंस इन सॉलिड इंपरफेक्शंस इन सॉलिड नाउ first of all if there is imperfection there should be something which is completely ideal so what is ideal solid ideal solid is something which will not have which will not have any imperfection if it does not if it does not have any imperfection what does it mean it will have same lattice oops it will have same lattice and point throughout the whole crystal okay throughout the whole crystal it will be having same type of lattice points same type of lattice point there will be no difference if you take a particular point here and you want to predict what will be after 1000 atoms so you will get again the same type of atom okay so in this type of solid it is known as ideal solid or it is ideal crystal same lattice points throughout the whole crystal now if there is a ideal thing there should be some imperfection and imperfection what happens now if you have any deviations the definition is very easy if you have any deviation from the completely order arrangement of the constant particles then it is known as disorder or defect or you can also write or imperfection or imperfection okay so these are simple things ideal means there is no difference in the first or the thousandth atom these are all same in one arrangement same lattice throughout the whole crystal now if you have one atom also somewhere here that means there is a deviation and it is a imperfection in solid okay so we will be learning about imperfect solid now if you remember clearly we, we learned about ideal gas and then we talked about the real gases so whatever we have talked till now we are talking about the ideal solid sab kuch sahi hai na we have one atom square close packing hexagonal close packing body centered fcc cubic close packing everything is crystal very smooth going on but in reality it is not like this always you will have some or one or more imperfections in the solid okay so in imperfections there are two types there are point defects so these are what if there is a irregularity around a point or an atom okay fine you have a small irregularity in the point or an atom 
Now, there's another defect which is known as line defect and in which you will have defects along the whole row. So the entire row of lattice point, what will be happening? They will be defected, okay? They will be defected and they will be having imperfections. So for example, I have one atom here, one atom here, one atom here. Now I expected one atom here, but it is now vacant. So I have another atom here, here, here. So this is a point defect, right? In line defect, what will happen? You have an atom here, then an atom here, then an atom here, and then atoms are here, are here. Then again, you will have some atom here. So the whole row of this lattice point, it is what it is disturbed. That is why it is known as line defect. Okay, that is why it is known as line defect. So line defect is a part of higher studies. You will not be learning more about line defect. There is only one definition that you have to learn about line defect. You'll be learning more about the point defects. Okay, we will be learning more about the point defects, and these are more what I can mm, more usual. So usually, what you will see, you will see more of point defects in the solid rather than line defects. So this definition of between the distinction between point defect and line defect is clear with all of you. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Sir. Okay. Well, moving on with point defects. Now, in point defect, what will happen? So what are the first of all the causes of point defect? Okay, causes of point defect. So see, can you see here that we have a blue atom, blue atom, blue atom, blue atom, blue atom. All of the blue atoms are there, but there is one atom which is occupying some space between these blue atoms, right? So it is present in the void, right? The space between atoms which is known as so what if it was completely if it was completely perfect, this red atom would not be there. If this red atom would not be there, this space would have been called a void or interstitial site. Now this red void is present in the void or interstitial site, hence it is known as interstitial effect or interstitial defect. Yes or no? Can you see that it is present in the interstitial site? But the, yes. Okay, it is present in the interstitial site. Okay. There can be another defect which is vacancy defect. Now what is happening here? So these are not red atoms or something. These are showing that there is a vacancy here. There is no atom present here. So we expected a blue atom here, but it is not present. Here we expected a blue atom, but it is not present. And it is known as vacancy defect. There is a vacancy available here, right? You can add blue atoms. So that is why it is known as vacancy defect. Is this two point very clear? Yes or no? By name only, you can understand and you can draw the picture. Yes or no? Tell me. By the name only. But I have interstitial and vacancy. Interstitial defect when a particle occupy interstitial position or a void. Vacancy means we are expecting an atom, but the atom is not present there. Okay, that site of atom it is vacant. Is that clear? These two interstitial and vacancy. Yes, what yes, happened? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, na. Okay. See, we have some more points here. These are the definition. We have written here because when you will get the PDF, then you will write these points. Okay. Now you can easily see. Acha. Let me move this way. If this part, if this, if this whole, if this whole solid, this whole solid, it was, let us suppose, completely ideal. Okay, completely ideal. There was no defect. Then can somebody count and tell me how many blue atoms will be there? How many atoms would have been there? How many atoms? Just tell me that. How many atoms would have been there if there was no defect? Those three atoms would not have been present. How many atoms were there? How many? Hai? 25 oh, 25 no, no. 20 na 20 hai, right hmm? oh, yeah 20, 20 yes, is there all of you agree maimuna amazia salman 20 are there yes or no yes okay so now this is occupying a particular volume right so the density would have been whatever is the mass of 20 atoms divided by the volume yes or no this is the ideal correct yes or no tell me Density will be mass yes, by volume. Yes. Yeah. Lekin, achha, now, after the defect, we have 22 atoms, right? The two red atoms are there, but the volume is still same because they are occupying the vacant site. Now, this what will be the volume? Which one will be higher? The defect one or the ideal one? Kiska density zada hoga? Whose density will be higher? The defect. Defect one, right? That is why. This defect increases the density slightly. You all will remember now interstitial defect will increase the density slightly. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now moving on, can you see that here where you are having vacancy? That means in ideal we will have 20 by V, but in defect for vacancy defect, what we are having 18 by volume. That is why the density will decrease a bit, right? So there is a decrease in density in the substance. Yes or no? Can all of you see that? Yes, sir. Okay. So in interstitial defect, what will be there? There will be increase in density. 
in vacancy defect there will be a decrease intensity and vacancy defect these are these may be caused these may be caused if you heat and cool if you keep heating and cooling then there will be some kind of defect uh, that is why when it is because it is developed due to heating it is known as thermodynamic defect it is known as thermodynamic defect now one thing is very important that you have to remember about interstitial and vacancy okay that is these are only for non ionic solid these are only for what these are only for non ionic solid will you remember this point yes or no vacancy and interstitial only for non ionic after this we will be learning about the ionic solids okay fine yes or no yes. is this clear all of you clear now yes, all sir. of you okay chali now moving on point defects in ionic crystals point defect in ionic crystals so the first point defect in ionic crystals is known as stoichiometric defect what it is known as stoichiometric defect second is known as non stoichiometric and the third is known as impurity defect now what is stoichiometric defect now in this type of defect acha ionic solid ionic crystal will be made up of positive ions and negative ions right yes or no sahi hai correct yes sir ha na Now in stoichiometric defect, what happens? Number of positive ions is equal to the number of negative ions. Okay, so these two are equal in stoichiometric defect. Both of these things, the number of positive ions and the number of negative ions, these are equal. But in non-stoichiometric defect, what happens? Number of positive ions is not equal to number of negative ions. Okay, number of negative ions, non-stoichiometric. That is why there is non-stoichiometric. So in non-stoichiometric defect, you will have one very good question about non-stoichiometric defect that we will uh, study. I think that will be in next class because we don't have much time today. Impurity defects. What will happen? There will be some other kind of atom that will be inserted. There will be some impurity. Impurity means there will be an different. Dif there will be a different atom which is present in the solid. Okay, so some impurity will be present. Some impurity. will be present okay there will be some impurity present okay so impurity means any other atom impurity means what it means any other atom so any other atom will also be present inside that solid and it will cause impurity defect okay stoichiometric defect positive and negative ions will be same non stoichiometric positive and negative ions will be different impurity defect what will happen you will have some other atom that will be also present inside for it causing impurity defect okay. now moving on to the stoichiometric defect so first defect is schottky defect now in schottky defect you can see this is a nacl crystal and in this nacl crystal we have a uh, now what should be present here tell me na or cl red ya blue kya present present hona chahiye yahan pe red red hai na red means positive charge present hona chahiye tha hai na and what should have been present here शॉर्ट डिफेक्ट So you can also remember that atoms short हो गया. Atoms got short. We have less atoms. Atoms got short. Short मतलब छोटा नहीं हो गया. कम पड़ जाना. Short का मतलब वो भी होता है. You know, all of you know ना. Short means you are short of money. तो आप पैसे से नाटे हो गए क्या? Height कम नहीं हो गया आपके पैसे से. ठीक है ना? You are having less money. I hope all of you know भाई. Expect yes that. sir. हाँ. Thank you very much. सब English medium school में पढ़ते हैं ना? वहां और क्या पढ़िएगा आप लोग फिर मूविंग ऑन देयर इज वन शॉर्ट के डिफेक्ट एंड देन वी हैव वन मोर डिफेक्ट व्हिच इज नोन एज फ्रैंकल डिफेक्ट व्हाट व्हिच इज नोन एज फ्रैंकल डिफेक्ट नाउ कैन यू सी व्हाट हैपेंड व्हाट वाज एक्सपेक्टेड हियर व्हाट वाज एक्सपेक्टेड हियर अ पॉजिटिव आयन राइट यस और नो यस सर बट दिस पॉजिटिव आयन व्हाट डिड इट गो सी कैन यू सी दैट इट मूव्ड टू दिस प्लेस सो व्हाट हैपेंड एटम गॉट फ्रैंक एटम गॉट Frank, atom got Frank. He is very friendly in nature. वो कहीं और ही जा के बैठ गया, है ना? He is sitting somewhere else. Atom got Frank. 
so you have short key defect in which atoms are getting short you have frankel defect in which atoms are moving here and there and they are getting frank look please remember as you can see what do you think which will be more frank which can move easier this big atom or this small atom bataiye kaun sa ion jaldi move kar sakta hai cation ya anion anion इलेक्ट्रॉन radius is always higher than cation so in frankel defect most of the time who will be wandering here and there cations will be wandering here and there okay so usually cation will get frank and it will move from one place to another from its own place to some other place so this thing about short key and frankel defect is this clear yes or no please tell me yes sir all of you yes okay fine now then we have the differences between the short key defect and the frankel defect okay so short key defect and frankel defect what are the differences so first difference is you can see we have already done this hai na padh ke dekhiye ek bar aapko samajh mein aa jayega we have already then this that it is because of missing atoms or ions atoms ko yahan pe agar aap hata bhi dijiye because it is about ionic solid hai na so short key defect you can also relate this to vacancy defect of non ionic solid right it is similar to the vacancy defect of non ionic solid and frankel defect is similar to or you can relate it to the interstitial defect in non ionic solid okay so the vacancy defect of ionic is short key the interstitial defect of frankel is sorry interstitial defect of ionic crystal is frankel defect okay now next is the presence of acha the presence of short key defect will lower its density hai na now frankel in frankel what will happen frankel as you can see what is happening this this atom is moving here but this sodium atom na plus ion was of this crystal only it is not coming from somewhere outside that is why the density is not affected okay that density is not affected in frankel now here we can see that here we can say it is generally shown by ionic solid ionic solids having high coordination number in which equal cations and anions are of equal size so if you are having positive and negative ion missing then what will happen here you will have here you will both the atom size or ion size should be similar and that is why both of them both of them can leave the solid and they can give you short key defect okay so in which cations and anions are of equal sizes okay now frankel defect in which you will have anions are larger in size than ions then only you will be seeing then only you will be seeing frankel defect okay then only you will be seeing frankel defect is this clear yes or no tell me these two points short key and frankel all of you will write these three points okay about short key and frankel defect with examples also with examples also got it yes or no please tell me yes sir okay now there is one homework for you guys which ionic solid shows both short key and frankel defect okay so this will be your homework fine now so short key defect and frankel defect now let us see what are the consequences of short key defect and frankel defect okay what are the consequences so the first consequences will consequence will be electrical conductivity will increase electrical conductivity will increase now let me show you how how it will increase so as you can see in both the cases we have holes here right yes or no here also we are having hole and here also we are having hole correct both the cases frankel and short key are ha yana bol do yes or no tell me please yes yes right now these hole these holes can be occupied by other atoms in presence of electrical field right So in the presence of some electrical field what will happen these atoms can move so this atom will move here right this atom will move here so these holes will be occupied by different different atoms and what will happen due to the movement of these ions due to the movement of these ions 
what will happen the electrical conductivity will increase uh, initially when you don't have any hole then the electrical conductivity is only dependent on the electrons movement but now since you have hole the ions can also move and it can also facilitate the electrical conductivity so this particular charge will move here then there will be a vacancy created here then again the next atom will move here the next atom will move here and then what will happen you will see that a hole is present here after some point the hole will be present here then after some point the hole will be present here then after some time the hole will be present here okay so these are the solid as you can see okay these are all solid like this but the hole is shifting but in reality what is happening the hole is not shifting the atoms are shifting and then it is creating then it is creating further more holes okay so this is uh, as you go as the time increases what happens the hole is here then the atom move here then the hole is now present now this atom is this is now hole then what happened this atom move here now this is now hole now this atom move here now this is now this present this part is now hole okay so that is why the electrical conductivity increases so the electrical conductivity increases due to the movement of holes okay now due to the presence of hole in the cell density will decrease right but density only decreases in short key defects okay please remember this is one of the consequence this is one of the consequence the other consequence is what the other consequence will be see as you can see if there are hole present if there are holes then uh, these are what voids now these are voids and these will be voids space between atoms you cannot classify them into a particular void but still these are void the empty space between atom empty space between atom this void now if these are voids then these are not a good solid if you compare it with ideal then it is not a good solid if it is not a good solid that means its lattice energy will decrease lattice energy lattice energy will what happen it will decrease lattice energy means the amount of energy the amount of energy used to break a particular solid so if you have ideal crystal in which you have all the atoms and all the ions then that ideal solid ideal ionic crystal will require more energy to break rather than this defected one right so it is quite clear by the name defect only that they will have they will be having some decreased lattice energy some decreased lattice energy okay now the last one is in frankel defect what happens in frankel defect what happens you can see that there is some closeness of similar charge you can see in this case these all are positive ions right all of these are positive ion and these are very near to each other and they are near to each other there will be a in these in the dielectric constant of the solid okay so please write this point about the closeness of charge leading to the increase in dielectric constant dielectric constant aap logo ko pata hai kya hota hai फिजिक्स में पढ़ा आप लोगों ने डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट यस नो हैव यू लर्न अबाउट डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट आई थिंक नो नॉट येट नहीं पढ़ा अभी नॉट येट हर्ड द नेम बट वी डिडंट स्टडी अबाउट इट ओके सो डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट इज डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट इज uh it talks about the permeability that means how easily okay how easily the electric current can flow okay the electrical permeability it is known as okay around a particular uh around a particular material got that yes or no tell me ठीक है यू विल रन अबाउट दिस मोर इन फिजिक्स ओके डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट वो आपको फिजिक्स में ज्यादा सही से पड़ेगा यहां पे आप लोग बस ये जान लीजिए कि इट इज व्हाट हैपेंस क्लोजनेस ऑफ सिमिलर चार्ज इंक्रीजेस द डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट इंक्रीजेस द डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट सो दीस आर ऑल द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ शॉर्ट की एंड फ्रेंकल डिफेक्ट कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ शॉर्ट की एंड फ्रेंकल डिफेक्ट आई थिंक दिस इज इट विद शॉर्ट की एंड फ्रेंकल ना या दिस इज इट फॉर शॉर्ट की एंड फ्रेंकल अच्छा नाउ व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल शेयर यू गाइस दिस पीडीएफ एंड लास्ट टाइम तो आई शेयर द होल पीडीएफ राइट उसमें यू हैड ऑल दी पार्ट्स ना क्यूबिक क्रिस्टल वाला सब कुछ था इन सॉलिड स्टेट दैट पीडीएफ एवरीथिंग वाज प्रेजेंट आप लोग ने शायद नहीं देखा हो अच्छा यू गाइस हैव नॉट कॉपीड इट डाउन टिल नाउ खालिद कॉपी कर लिया आपने फिफ्थ क्लास वाला यस सर अच्छा यू हैव कॉपीड इट डाउन ओके थैंक यू okay can you please uh look into the link my imperfections in solid kaam karna chahiye
Is it working? Can all of you see that? Yes. Yes, no, it is working. Okay. okay. So let me stop sharing this. And I needed to teach you guys one thing exactly. So usko complete karke, then we can leave the class. Okay. Okay, this is your. There is one concept which is known as concept of nearest neighbor. Please listen now very carefully. Concept of nearest neighbor. Now, in concept of nearest neighbor, I will be talking about nearest neighbor as n, and I need here the three unit cell that we have already discussed about. Those unit cells are the simple cubic unit cell, and then we have the body centered cubic unit cell, and we also have the face centered cubic unit cell. Okay, the face centered cubic unit cell. Need one more for face center. Now please try to concentrate here. Okay, please try to concentrate here. Number one is simple cubic. Number one is simple cubic. Now in simple cubic, you will have atoms at all the corners. Yes or no? You will have atoms at all the corners. Correct. Yes or no, guys? Tell me. Yes. Atoms in all the constituents. I also need one table type of thing. There will be simple cubic. And then number, and then distance. Any type of distance. Happened here, yeah. Okay. Okay. I just needed to increase the size here. It's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. So first nearest neighbor. Okay. First nearest neighbor. First nearest neighbor means we have one of this atom here in the corner, and this atom is connected by how many? It, it is touching how many atoms? So it is directly touching the first neighbor is this one. This atom. And this atom that is all present in the 
distance that is edge length yes or no all of these are neighbors yes sir hai na then you will have one more atom here then you will have one more atom here and then you will have one more atom here all of these are also neighbors at one at a distance correct can all of you see that yes or no please tell me yes okay yes. so number yes. is how much six that is the coordination number first nearest neighbor will always be the coordination number and the distance is how much distance will be a right a is the distance yes or no now moving on to the second nearest neighbor okay second nearest neighbor agar aap dekhiye to ye aapka ghar hai okay this is your home then you move here this is your first neighbor then second neighbor will be the neighbor of this one that is here sahi hai hai ki nahi yes or no tell me yes can all of you see that what is our control z why it is not working wait a second is what so we have this one so we have a phase diagonal right we have a phase diagonal between the atom that we are looking here and this atom so this is our next nearest neighbor correct second nearest neighbor can all of you see that yes or no any difficulty koi dikkat nahi hai na yahan tak no sir no na so how many this, these green atoms can be there so you can see that this black atom will have a phase diagonal here also correct this atom will have a phase diagonal here also sahi hai yes or no tell me yes right okay fine so now in this one unit cell in this one unit cell it is having in this one unit cell it is having three different it is having three different atoms which are nearest next nearest second nearest neighbor okay three different and whose distance is what a root 2 all of you know that this distance is how much a root 2 this distance is a root 2 now in total if i talk about the other unit cells also other unit cells so this atom is present in eighth unit cell and in each unit cell we have three phases in which it is touching the atoms yes or no teen phase hai there are three atoms na in 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 each unit cell whose distance is a root 2 yes or no yes are hi hi no now each phase is present in each phase is present in two rooms right yes. each phase is present hai na each phase is present in two rooms that means 8 is a 24 divided by 2 which will be equal to 12 so this will have 12 different atoms which will be the second nearest neighbor then this is the third nearest neighbor now if you look at the third nearest neighbor there is only one atom one place that is left the one place which is left is this place right this will be the next nearest neighbor hai ki nahi bataiye baaki sare to ho gaye can you see all of all of the other atoms are yes, done sir hai na acha now this one of this corner it is touching it is touching through body diagonal one atom in one room so we have eight different unit cell and th in this eight different unit cell it will be touching eight different atom which are body diagonal body diagonal distance away from the corner atom yes or no tell me this will be now a root 3 you got it now first nearest neighbor second nearest neighbor and third nearest neighbor the number how many are there and the distance between them for simple cubic hi ana bataiye yes sir okay fine hello so that is it for today you have got the let me see what you can do for now this is next is body centered cubic okay थोड़ा सा इसको डिस्कस कर ही लेते हैं लेट मी कॉपी दिस so first nearest neighbor before that let me make the atoms so you remember we have atoms in the corner
there is one atom in the body center right and then we have the other atoms also right in the corner so all of you know that these three atoms are in contact with each other these three atoms are touching each other yes or no yes sir ha na to ye red wale ka neighbor jo hoga nearest neighbor it will be this atom this atom will be the nearest neighbor yes or no yes, yes sir ha na now we need to find the distance between these two atoms like this in dono ke beech ka distance kya ho jayega theek hai ye pata karna hai so you know that this total distance is how much a root 3 See that black at the black line. It is a root three. So this purple type of thing, this will be a root three by two. Correct? Hey, Gini. That distance will be a root three by two, na? Because yeah. this black distance is all of you can see, na? This black is how much? A root three. So this is half of that. So that will be a root three by two. Is it clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. Then how many are present? So you can see that it is this red. Uh, sorry, this uh, purple one is touching all of these four red atoms, and the below also four red atoms. So the number will be eight. So this is again same as the coordination number for BCC. Also, you know that body centered cubic body centered cubic. Okay. Now the next nearest neighbor. Next nearest neighbor. You can you. I will say that a root three will be. No, a root three will not be because. A root three is equal to how much? A into what is the value for root three? One point. What is the value for a root three? One point. Seven three. Ah, correct. It is one point seven, है ना? So it is more than a, है ना? It is more than a, correct? Yes. But this distance between these two red atoms is this equal to a, right? So it is more near the red atom is the edge, and edge red atoms these are more near, right? Both of these are. This distance is what it is a, so you can write that the next nearest neighbor will be a distance away. The next nearest neighbor will be a distance away. Okay, and if it is a distance away, then the uh, second nearest neighbor, how many will be there? So this is present corner atom, na? So it's six. Right? If you have a, then it is there are six atoms which are present, and after that you will again have same thing, phase diagonal wala ho jayega. Then you will have the phase diagonal that is a root two. Because again, a a root two is what a into one point four. So this body diagonally away, it is still very high. So a root two will be how much? That is here. It will be twelve uh, atoms will be present. If it is in like phase diagonally opposite, these are present. So this will be a root two again. Do you understood this? Yes or no? Eight, six, and twelve. Eight is because it is present in the body center. Then six because it is it is present in the corner atom and Then you have twelve because it is the distance between this one corner and the other phase. Ah, uh, sorry, the other corner atom of the same phase. Okay, other corner atom of the same phase. So this will be equal to twelve as it is here. Fine. All of you tell me. Body centered be हो गया? Yes or no? अरे हाँ याना बोली जल्दी. Yes. Okay, fine. So please take a screenshot for this. और एक काम कीजिए प्लीज स्टार्ट राइटिंग एंड देन जब आपका हो जाए तो फिर आप लोग चले जाइए ठीक है एंड आई एम आल्सो गोइंग अजान भी हो गई है आई हैव जस्ट हैड वन डेट नाउ आई विल गो हैव माय स्टार्ट प्रेम अकरे ओके एंड आप लोग का हो जाए तो आप लोग भी चले जाइएगा ठीक है चलिए बाय बाय गाइस टेक केयर अस्सलाम वालेकुम अल्लाह हाफिज सर अल्लाह हाफिज अस्सलाम वालेकुम ओके यू गाइस कैन लीव आफ्टर योर डन Thank you sir.